Hello everyone, I am Pradna Gulane from Computer Engineering Department, ASSMS IOIT Pune. Today I am going to explain inclusion exclusion principle of district mathematics. Suppose A and B are the finite subset of universal set U. As shown in figure, the rectangle shows the universal set U and inside both circle A and B are the subset of universal set U. If both uh, circle A and B are disjoint, that is if uh, intersection of A and B equal to pi, then each element of A union B either present in a set A or in a set B, but not in a both. Therefore, the cardinality of A union B equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. In a second scenario, if A and B are overlap as shown in figure, then the element in uh, the element in A intersect B belongs to the both set and the sum cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B count this element twice. To correct this double counting, we subtract cardinality of A intersect B. Sometimes this, uh, sometimes call this theorem as an addition principle or uh, called as an inclusion exclusion principle. Now the theorem is if a and B are the finite set, then the cardinality of A union B equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B. For example, if we have two different subset, uh, two sets A and B, the element of set A are A, B, C, D, E and the elements of set B are C, E, F, H, K and M. So, when we uh, take a union of set A and set B, then we are getting all elements A, B, C, D, E, F, H, K and M. And the intersection of set A and B, so the common elements are C and E only. Okay. So, now first we calculate the cardinality of a, which is nothing but the number of elements in a set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the cardinality of A equal to 5, the cardinality of B equal to 6 and the cardinality of A union B equal to 9. And the inter cardinality of intersection A and B equal to 2. According to theorem, the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B equal to the cardinality of A union B. So, we, uh, we calculate the cardinality of A equal to 5, the cardinality of B equal to 6. The addition of 5 plus 6 equal to 11 minus the cardinality of A intersect B is 2. So, the 11 minus 2 equal to 9. It is a left hand side and the right hand side A union, the cardinality of A union B which is equal to 9. So, the right hand side equal to left hand side. So, the theorem is verified. We, uh, we will see another example. In this example, in a survey, 2000 people were asked whether they read India Today or Business Times. It was found that the 1200 read India Today, 900 read Business Times and 400 reads both. Find how many read at least one magazine and how many read none. Now here the 200 people is nothing but the universal set U value. Then for solution let uh, A denotes the set of people who read India today. So, the cardinality of A equal to 200, uh, 1200 and the B denote the set of people who reads business times. So, the cardinality of B equal to 900 and 
400 people read both papers so that the cardinality of A intersect B equal to 400. Now, according to our mutual ex uh, inclusion exclusion principle, the cardinality of A union B equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the uh, cardinality of A intersect B. So, the cardinality of A equal to put the value 1200 plus the cardinality of B is uh, 900 minus the inter cardinality of intersection A union B which is equal to 400. So, the union A union B cardinality equal to 700, uh, 1700. Now, we want to calculate, find out how many people read at least one magazine and how many read none. So, here we got 1700 value of the cardinality of A union B. So, if we want to find out who uh, is read nothing then the total value is 2000 so the universal set value is equal to 2000 minus the cardinality of a union b so the 2000 minus 1700 equal to 300 hence the 1700 read at least one magazine and 300 read nothing so next theorem for the three set let uh, A, B, C are the three finite set. Then the theorem is the cardinality of A union B union C equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B plus the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of A intersect B minus the cardinality of B intersect C minus the cardinality of A intersect C plus the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C. As shown in figure, we have three sets A, B, C. Here, we want to uh, calculate the cardinality of union A with B union with C. So, according to our second theorem, we will solve an example. In example again, we have three different sets, set A, set B and set C. Here first we find out the uh, union of A, B and C. Then find out intersection of A and B. Then the B uh, intersection of B and C and the intersection of A and C. And the common intersection value A intersect B intersect C which is B and A. Then find out the cardinality is set. So the total elements in A are 5. So the cardinality is 5. For B set, again it is 5. Then total number of elements for C set is 8. Then the A union B union C, its cardinality equal to 10. Then A intersects B, cardinality is 3. B intersect C, cardinality is 4. A intersect C, cardinality equal to 3. And A intersect B intersect C, cardinality is 2. Now put all values into the theorem. So the value of uh, cardinality of A equal to 5, put as it is. Then for B, 5. For C, 8. Then A intersect B, value is 3, which is minus Again, minus B intersect C, which is 4, minus A intersect C, which is 3, plus the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C is 2. So, the total value is 10, sorry, 20 minus 10. So, we are getting value 10. It is our left hand side, sorry, right hand side and we are getting left hand side value already which is 10. So, left hand side equal to right hand side. Hence, our theorem is uh, verified. So, thank you all of you.